Hello everybody and welcome back. It has been a while. The biggest update is that I am no longer on the calf of man, sadly. That was because my season finished last November, but I am in another lovely part of the world and that is Dartmoor, which is where I live and work. And there'll be more on that very soon. I'm going to do an episode about what I'm doing here. But for now, we're gonna jump back in from where we left off with my alphabet series and we're up to letter W. Now you're probably thinking, will we ever finish this series? We will, we're nearly there. The filming for this was done on the calf, so I'm gonna take you back to the calf and we're doing W for Willow Warbler. As the name suggests, the Willow Warbler is a member of the Warbler family. Now for birder beginners like me, warblers are known to be quite tricky to identify with very subtle differences distinguishing the species. And here are some examples. From afar, the willow warbler is tinged yellow, which is more predominant in young birds, with a pale yellow supercilium, which is the eye stripe. Now they're very slim and delicate birds. Another thing to think about when you're identifying birds is habitat. So where you're seeing them and where they are singing. Now willow warblers love woodland. You can also find them in scrubby areas and parks. The main difference and the thing you're listening out for is the song. The willow warbler has a very melodious, a cascading song that is distinctive and associated with spring, as you can hear it from April, which is when they arrive, until September, which is when they leave to start their return journey back to Africa. So many of the birds that pass through England are on their journey south from Scotland or Scandinavia and heading to equatorial Africa, which is a journey of around 7,000 kilometers. What blows my mind though is how these tiny birds, after being born that year, then travelled to Africa, having never done the journey before. When I passed my driving test, one of the first journeys I did alone was to my nan's house, a journey I had driven with my mum so many times, and yet I still managed to get lost. And that's with signs telling me where I am and pointing me in the right direction. It's absolutely incredible to think what distances these birds cover. But in the hand, the willow warbler has another feature that is easy to spot, and for it you must look closely at the wing. These are the primary feathers. They have imaginations on, which are a distinct narrowing towards the end, and you count how many feathers have these. So for a willow warbler, it should be imaginations up to the fifth, and its second primary feather should equal the length of the sixth primary feather. Now this differentiates it from a chiff chaff, its confusion species. The chiff is usually much duller in colour and a slightly smaller bird with darker legs. They have imaginations up until the sixth with the second primary longer, so it equals the seventh or the eighth primary in length. Sadly though, willow warblers and many other species are suffering population declines. Willow warblers have declined by 10% in the UK from 1995 to 2020 and are now amber listed. We have been losing birds from our landscapes for decades and this is due to a whole range of reasons from habitat loss to land use change, the use of pesticides and invasive predators. But data from the BTO shows that willow warblers have declined in the UK directly because of anthropogenic climate change. They typically live for around two years, but the oldest bird on record back in 2010 was nearly 11 years old. Now this information can only be determined from re-trapping an already ringed bird, which is why bird ringing is so important. An unusual fact about the willow warbler is that they molt all of their feathers twice a year, once at their breeding grounds and once at their wintering grounds. Now compared to the usual bird, which only molts once a year. So that's W for Willow Warbler. Thank you very much for watching and listening. I will see you very soon for my next video.